Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this introduction of the BMW i4 and iX3 concept cars. Now today we are going to show you everything we can about these cars, about the new design language of BMW, about these new electric vehicles, about the drivetrains, the interiors, the exteriors, pretty much anything we can show you we will. Now normally I'm not a big fan of these concept cars, these closed rooms because you're always a bit disappointed when you see the real result. When the production car is finally revealed, you always feel like, well, the concept car was better or cooler or whatever. Now, today that might not be the case because this i4 concept is 95% around there production ready. So pretty much all the cool stuff we see on this car will be on the production car. And that's why we are going to show you this today. So let's start with one of the most controversial parts of this car. Now, we've seen a lot of pictures of uh, this car. I think the Vision Next or Vision i Next also had this grille, right? Um, and it is controversial because they are so high, because they are so big, and because they are so different from what we're used to with BMW. But let me assure you, when you see it in real life, especially with all these lines that run across uh, the hood towards the grille, towards these edges, it actually works really, really well. The comparison has been made to a rabbit on pictures, but that is not the case in real life. It really looks very, very striking. The only thing I'm really worried about is how this is going to look with a license plate, because now you can see this BMW concept license plate. Um, I've been told that it is going to be something like this, so with a little mount in front of the grille. Um, but of course it is going to break up this entire grill so uh, in Holland it would be a big yellow license plate running across in front of the new grill so we're going to have to see how that works out of course there's no real air intake behind this this is now closed because an electric drivetrain doesn't need that much cooling uh, so there are all kinds of sensors behind this uh, there is a little bit of air going inside here to these air curtains but there's hardly any air intakes whatsoever also to improve aerodynamic drag So another thing that is going to change, of course, uh, with this concept car, the light unit, because this is all bare, this is open, you can actually touch it, I'm not going to, but you can. It's a little bit dangerous, uh, this is going to be behind glass, but the shape of it is really, really nice, very aggressive, and uh, there is a little space between the light unit and the grille, which we haven't always seen with BMW lately, uh, but I prefer this, and it really fits the car, because it is so aggressive. Now, moving on to the sides, we've got these massive 21 inch wheels with that copper color. This is called frozen light copper, very cool color. Uh, and as I said, it returns in those wheels with a little fade even, as you can see there. Never seen that before. So at the sides, you can see these lower parts, uh, which is actually the place where the 80 kilowatt hour battery will be. Uh, it is very low, of course, and it is spread out across the floor of the car to ensure a low center of gravity, which should help the handling, even though it adds 550 kilos. Now, what does that mean for the specs and the performance of this car? You can actually see it somewhere around here. The range 600 kilometers WLTP is really, really good. We really like that because it means that it's actually usable in the real world. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour, four seconds flat, 
that's very nice as well that's faster than a current bmw m4 and that's because it has 530 horsepower which is around the same as a bmw v8 petrol produces right now so it is seriously impressive and it does feel and look like an electric version of a bmw m grand coupe something like that and i think they've done a good job on that because they have to make these cars covetable people should really want these cars and look up to them like they look up to a bmw m4 Moving on to the rear, um, of course we know that BMW is very good at rear ends. Now with this one, I think they've succeeded again because we've got these really long L-shaped rear lights uh, that give the car a low and wide look. Uh, the entire rear is quite wide, but they've done a great job with all these lines, uh, with this massive diffuser unit, with those blue lines, which indicate that it is in fact a BMW i vehicle. Uh, the new badge right there as well and one of my favorite elements of the design of this car is this part right here the fact that they angled this like this which almost gives you like this integrated spoiler in the rear deck lid is absolutely beautiful On the interior you can actually see that this is definitely a BMW it's just a lot more modern a lot more clean and a lot more airy and there are a couple of really cool design features on this concept car like these strokes that run from the rear headrests to the rear which looks absolutely awesome with that golden copper color again which is a returning factor in this car well of course one of the biggest things in this interior that massive curved screen that runs almost across the entirety of the car and it looks really really special uh, but it's not the thing that I love most about this interior it's the steering wheel because it sort of looks like a muscle car steering wheel with that deep center and they've also been able to ditch that horrendous little black gear lever and replace it with well sort of a toggle switch inside the center console it looks a lot better than it does now excitement and new features that we have on this car uh, showing us the future of electric driving by BMW we're going to move to something that's a little bit closer to home and I think even further towards production stage than the i4 this is the all-electric iX3 concept And the idea is that you can choose what kind of drivetrain you like within the same platform. So this X3 will be available with a petrol engine, a diesel engine, a plug-in hybrid or a full EV like this one is. And the specs are quite impressive I would say. 74 kilowatt hours, 440 kilometers WLTP range, 0 to 100 6.8 seconds and 286 horsepower. Now, of course, this is a very suitable vehicle to try this because these SUVs are so popular and I think that uh, these cars are suitable for electric drivetrain because you want comfort in this car. You want that silence. Although these two electric vehicles are not completely silent because BMW has worked together with 
world famous composer Hans Zimmer to create sort of their own sound uh, for the drivetrain. So you actually do get some sound. So here you can actually see that this is closer to production ready at the front with the regular BMW headlights. Of course, this is a existing model, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, but we do have a new grille, which is completely closed off. We do have some air going into the lower part, also to, for the cooling uh, while charging, of course. Uh, other than that, we've got the air curtain, air flowing in here and out there. And of course, those massive, uh, well, almost completely closed off wheels with those aero blades also to improve aerodynamic drag. Unfortunately, we can't see inside. As you can see, it has like a crazy dark tint on it. Can't see the interior. But this is supposed to be released at the end of this year. So it is going to be really quick. You can actually pre-order one of these already. So if you're interested, uh, go check it out. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look of these new electric vehicles by BMW. Of course, this is a big one. Uh, I'm very curious to see what you guys think of this, well, especially of this new front end of that grill. Uh, if you have changed your opinion like I have. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the button somewhere down there. And I hope to see you at the next one. Bye.